Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin A.K. Diego. Yeah, I shaved my beard. Yes, I did. Shaved my beard. Shaved my... Dude, I'm fucking retarded right now. Um, yeah, it was just bugging me, so I just shaved it. Who gives a shit, right? Um, I also wanted to... I'm going to talk about rotations. And before I get into that, I did a, a Pop Paladin spec video guide for 4.0. And I don't know if I'm going to post it, just to be frank. Um... The, the main tank in the, the there's a forum post out and uh, a gentleman did a bunch of different specs for you know threat survivability lich king heroic so on and so forth and he you know theory crafted all the talents and he, you know it's very in depth forum post and I'm just gonna post a link to that because uh, the funny thing is is when I was doing my uh, if you guys check and if you guys watched my video where I talked about the spec that I'm gonna use for 4.0 4.0 came out it was um, it was a spec that, you know, I just kind of winged, and I was like, I think I'm going to do this spec, this is probably what I'm going to do, and it's pretty funny because it's the exact spec that he uses at his, as his default build, and I think it's kind of funny that, um, you know, uh, he's pretty much world-renowned theory crafter for prop paladins, came up with the same, you know, after he did his theory crafting, he, you know, came to the same conclusion that I did for a default build, but he goes into more in-depth about it, and, um, I'm just going to do that, and if you guys don't like reading, you don't have to read the whole thing. He's got links for every build, and he just briefly covers what's good uh, for those builds and whatever. So just check the link if you guys are worried about builds. My video is really boring. I'm a boring person. What can I say? I'm trying to I'm trying to lively it up, you know, change the face you hear every once in a while. No, that's dumb. That's stupid. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about rotation in this video for level 80 Paladin because, again, we won't be 85 for quite some time. And Actually, the only ability that we get that could affect our pr potential rotation is Inquisition, and that's at 81. So, uh, but for and we'll talk about that maybe a little bit. I'll touch on that a little bit later on. But for right now, we're just going to talk about our rotation at level 80 uh, until we actually get to start the level and get that Inqui Inquisition. So, um, and I want to brag real quick. Check this mount out. Check this mount out. I got the day the event opened up. What is that? Is that, is that the, the the fucking what do they call this? Headless Horseman's mount. Look at that. First day, baby. I got a horseshoe in my pocket. I got a horseshoe in my pocket. It's not. It's not a real song. I just made it up right now. You can Google it. Um, I don't know why I'm in my PVP gear either. I think the PVP gear looks sexy. So let's talk about rotation. It's called the nine three nine rotation. And if you don't know what the numbers mean, they basically mean the duration of the cool of a cooldown of an ability. So it's a nine second ability, then a Three second ability than a nine second ability, or it could be a three nine three if you prefer. Anyway, so the th the number three demotes your combo point generator, either Hammer of the Righteousness or Crusader Strike. And the important thing to know about that is it's which one you use on single target, or or I mean, more so which one you use on single target depends largely on which one does more damage. Obviously, right? So the best way to find out, because there have been posts where people are doing more damage. Look at this Shadow Morn out of here. Get out of my frame. Um, there have been posts where people say that their Hammer of the Righteousness is actually doing more damage single target than the Crusader Strike. So um, when I am talking about using Crusader Strike for single target, if you're that person where Hammer is hitting harder than Crusader Strike, use Hammer instead of Crusader Strike. It's that simple. So, I mean, a couple things that might factor in are like your two-piece and having it glyphed or not. So, I mean, the best way to find out is just go to a hero Train Dummy. I like the one in Silvermoon the best because you can't cleave anything else. And just hit, hit Hammer of the Righteousness a, a bunch of times. If you got uh, recount, that's a great way to track it, and you can just find out, um, you know, average what that's hitting for, and then you just hit Crusader Strike and find out what average that's hitting for. For me personally, Crusader Strike hit do it, does more damage, just not by a huge margin, but it does a little bit more. And I think at level 85, Crusader Strike is going to be the clear winner. But um, as for now, just make sure you test out uh, personally which one is better for you. Um, so let me post some text on the screen for you guys. The rot the rotation, basically every other ro every other ability is going to be your combo point generator system. For me, it's going to be Crusader Strike. You might be Hammer of the Righteousness if it hits harder. So it's going to be you're gonna it's Crusader Strike for your first one, and then you're gonna Judge, and then you're gonna Crusader Strike again, and then I'm gonna your next ability is gonna be called I'm gonna call X, um, and then then Crusader Strike after you use X, and then uh, then after you use you Crusader Strike, again, you uh, Shield of the Righteousness. And that's a full rotation. Now, what's X mean? X is a priority system. 
Um, it's not a priority system. It's priority-based ability. And basically, you prioritize Avenger Shield over Holy Wrath. And that's basically it. And that's large in part to Grand Crusader. So if you are spec Grand Crusader, it's not bad. It's not it's not great, but it's you know it's it's a good talent. Um, and another thing is that you need to spec shield shield of the Templar for this rotation to work. So that's a pretty that's a pretty no brainer. A lot of people just take that talent and obviously um, at level eighty, reducing the cooldown and guarding ancient kings, it's gonna be a pretty awesome talent at level eighty five. I mean, sorry, I said level eighty. So anyway, so you want to prioritize that in that X slot, Avenger Shield always. And if Avenger Shield's on cooldown, then and only then you use um, Holy Wrath. So actually, let me switch. Let me get Crusader Strike in my number one ba. So um, it looks like this. So Crusader Strike, just like I said, Judge, Crusader Strike, Avenger Shield, and then Crusader Strike, and then our Holy Power Dump, which is Shield of Righteousness. So we got a Grand Crusader proc, which means we're not going to use Holy Shield in the X slot now. Or Holy Wrath, I mean. So we're going to use Avenger Shield, and then we're at three stacks, and then we're going to Shield Bash. So if we, if we get if we get a Grand Crusader proc, which resets the cooldown, like right there, I, I should have used Holy Wrath right there, but... Since it procced, I used Avenger Shield. So let's see if we get an example for it not to proc. Like right here, yeah. So I use Holy Wrath because it didn't proc. I mean, did you guys see that? I probably will blow it up. I mean, it's probably pretty small right now. But anyway, so that's that's the basic rotation. It's very simple, very easy. It's actually, in my opinion, it's easier than a 969 rotation. Um, you just have to follow that priority system for prioritizing Avenger Shield over Holy Wrath, but everything else stays the same. It's Crusader Strike, Judge, Crusader Strike, Avenger Shield, or Holy Wrath, but usually Avenger Shield if it's off cooldown, and then Crus and then Crusader Strike, and then your Shield Bash, um, or Shield of the Righteous, if I want to use the technical term. Sorry, some people get emo when I don't use the technical Paladin terms. Um, and then on uh, multi-targets, it's very simple. To be honest, guys, I do not use Consecrate like rarely ever um if i do let's say we're pulling these two guys right here let me zoom out i don't even play this close and i don't play in window mode fyi so we're about to pull these two mobs so i avenger shield go in get my first hammer and then drop my consecrate and then hammer judge hammer shield bash and then i forget about consecrate completely and just get right back into the 939 rotation so I mean, but in this uh, situation for AoE, you might want to prioritize uh, Holy Wrath over Avenger Shield because uh, obviously Avenger Shield, if you have it not glyphed uh, for focus target, it will hit only three targets and um, Holy Wrath hits everything. So you, in AoE, you might want to prioritize Holy Wrath over Avenger Shield, um, but it's I don't think it's a huge, huge, huge deal. Depending on how many, how much you're tanking, or how many mobs you're tanking, so that's the basic differences. Now let's talk about when we get Inquisition in the mix. Inquisition, at, we get it at level 81, and what it does is it increases all of our holy damage by 30 percent. Um, now it and it lasts longer per combo point. So think of it like slice and dice for a rogue or um, savage roar for a feral druid. So it's kind of like a uh, a threat slash DPS increase. Uh, and it lasts longer per how many combo points you use on it, slash holy power. So the the thing that kind of might mess it up a little bit is when you, you if you use three holy power stacks on it and you go back into your normal rotation, so instead of using Shield of Righteousness the first time, you use Inquisition. By the time you use Shield of Righteousness the, the, for your second uh, holy power dump, uh, you will still have the Inquisition buff, which means your uh, Shield Bash or Shield of Righteousness will do 30% more damage. Now, I honestly haven't seen it, you know, since we're not 85 yet or even 81, haven't seen a lot of theory crafting or testing on it. So um, I really don't know how much of a DPS increase it's going to be to try to keep that in your rotation or just use it for um, trash, use it for AoE tanking. Because Blizzard pretty much said before they did a lot of uh, Crusader Strike changes, a lot of prop changes, they pretty much said prop's going to have an AoE. Holy Power Dump and a single target Holy Power Dump. Obviously, our single target is our Shield Bash, and they said our Holy, our AOE Holy Power Dump is our Inquisition. So, but now with them changing Crusader Strike and being able to have both uh, have Inquisition up when we Shield Bash, I don't know if that's going to play a huge factor into our uh, threat per second. So, um, I can't really co comment on it now, but it it probably will. So, 
the, the the rotation might change once we get to once we get Inquisition. So, but that's basically the video. That's all I got for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Stay classy.